does it feel to be here in your hometown presenting this award to Robert Downey Jr., your friend? I'm always glad to be at the Santa Barbara Film Festival. It is, I think, I'm biased, I live here, but I think it's the best film festival in the world. And every year, uh, the people who put this on have a way of picking the people who truly deserve to be honored. And to be able to give uh, the award tonight to Robert Downey Jr., who I've known since Santa Monica High School history class, is truly amazing for me. You kind of got my next question. You guys came to stardom in the same era in Hollywood. That's right. What has that journey been like? Well, Downey is, is a great example of, of uh, somebody who's... I can relate to his, his life. Almost everything in his life right. I can relate to. And, uh, you know, it's that great uh, truism that talent always wins. It's just a matter of time. Uh, and uh, to watch this run that he's been on with his amazing work his entire career, but particularly with Oppenheimer, is spectacular. And what do you want to say to him tonight? What are you most looking forward to, to saying to him tonight in front of everyone? Well, I, more than anything, I'm, I want to acknowledge the things about him that I know that other people might not, because we have been through all of it together. Every chapter of his life, every chapter of mine, um, and all the highs and lows, and there have been highs and lows. And uh, he's, he's li he lives his life with tremendous humor, uh, tremendous intelligence and grace and talent and love. And I, I want to honor that tonight. Now, let's shift to you. Do you have any upcoming projects you want to talk about? I just wrapped season two of uh, Unstable, my comedy I do on Netflix. Season one is, is currently on, on Netflix. Uh, and uh, I start uh, 911 Lone Star season five uh, in two weeks.